Besties, it's Anna and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm very excited because I'm gonna be sharing with you all of my plans for Preptober slash NaNoWriMo which is coming up very very soon if you don't know what NaNoWriMo is it's essentially like a little challenge that writers from across the world um, participate in and it's basically in the month of November hence NaNoWriMo where you try to write a book in a month and of course it's a very big challenge but that's what makes it so so fun and like I don't know it's so cool to try out but for me I'm actually gonna be writing a book hopefully it is gonna be around 50k which is so exciting and I'm so excited to share with you how I'm planning um, to yeah write that book and the book that I want to write and just like how I'm gonna approach NaNoWriMo which is coming up very very soon so let's go ahead and get on to the video so the project that I'm gonna be writing is actually project um, I don't know what to call it I think it's like project ghost and I've actually um, told you guys for the first time about it in my video where I talk about all the projects that I want to write and uh, it's like such I can't even explain it it's a very very important Book to me in terms of the actual genre of the book if you are interested it's kind of like paranormal but not thriller almost and it's something that's completely out of like my league and I've never really tried to write anything quite like this I don't really know how to describe this book but I guess I'll give you a little bit of a synopsis right now so Project Ghost follows this girl her name is Red and she moves in with her long lost relative her grandmother because her parents split up and she ended up staying with her mother her mother gets sick and her mother can't really take care of her anymore Red also blames her mother for you know letting her dad run away um, and there's a really bad rocky relationship with Red and her mother so when Red actually moves in with her grandmother is obviously from her mother's side um, Red doesn't really like her as well so where our grandmother lives it's like a really really off coast like it's like it's a ghost town essentially there's basically like the population is very small like 500 or a thousand and it's just a very like run down town which seems like it's on the edge of nowhere but really where the story starts is when red goes to the high school and of course the high school is like the only high school in the sort of valley the sort of town and when she's walking back she actually meets these four ghost boys and these four ghost boys are so uh, i love them so so much they have such like distinct characteristics so these boys actually are very mischievous and basically all they do is just make like just prank on everybody they steal cars and ride them around at night they rub like the corner candy store they pull pranks on the old man on the porch however red is kind of walking home and she ends up kind of being followed by a car and it obviously turns out that the ghost boys are in the back and the ghost boys like end up following her home and she ends up like just literally thinking it's nothing <laughs> until there's a later development where the ghost boys actually end up almost saving her from someone or something and she ends up actually befriending them very hesitantly and that's when like a relationship sparks she ends up hanging out with these boys a lot more and what's really interesting is for example they go and rob the candy store that I was talking about and the police actually kind of catch them and there's a surveillance camera which takes a photo um, but it's only red in the photo it's only her you know robbing from the candy store and yeah it's very interesting because red starts getting suspicious of them what their motives are with her and also if they're actually ghosts so that is the project very long-winded explanation so yeah that's the project that i want to write however in terms of planning in regards to like yeah my approach to NaNoWriMo right now in this month it's basically going over my plot um outline if you didn't know um quite conveniently this project was the project that i was able to plot in one day i'm not sure if you've seen that video i'll link it up there if you guys want to check it out but yeah, I plotted this book literally in one day because I had this idea marinating in my mind for a long, long time. And I did do a, like a brain dump sort of uh, <laughs> document. But then I decided to do a full-winded 
Why do I keep saying that for winded? A like very complex, um, straightforward chapter plan. And basically what I'm going to be doing to prepare for NaNoWriMo is look over that, add some things, some um, questions. Since I do have the whole story there, I can really just backtrack and see if everything's okay. The next thing I want to do is actually like really think about the big plot twist since I think that's like basically the whole idea of the book and just see if I can foreshadow it and drop little hints into previous chapters. So yeah, it's kind of like editing my chapter document a little bit. And then the last thing that I'm going to do, I really don't want to plan too much for this, but that is to actually really dive into the characters and try my best to make character profiles for them because I have yet to do that. I really want to make a character profile today um, with you guys because I think that's just something that would be really, really fun and I got to do it anyway, so may as well do it with you. I'm not sure if I should do Red or maybe one of the ghosts. I think it probably would be more fitting to do the main character. Um, but yeah, very, very cool. I'm so excited to really dive into planning for this, reading over my story since I haven't really done that in a while. And yeah, just be really prepared for November. So of course, if you haven't prepped yet or if you kind of just like have an idea and you really want to just like kind of get to the position I guess I am at or just like a position that you'll be comfortable to really start on the 1st of November go full speed, go woo woo, and like just write and be okay. I definitely recommend to plot first. And I have a video up there, which I already kind of talked about, which was how I plotted a book in one day. That is how I plot. And that literally, that <laughs> plotted book was this project that I'm talking about. I definitely recommend to do chapter plotting because it just helps you so, so much and plans a lot better, especially if you're doing something like NaNoWriMo. Okay, so I have this on the screen so you guys can just have a look at my like document that I'm using to prepare and actually go off when I'm writing my project. In relation to the type of story, of course it's short first person and it's going to be 50k. In regards to its themes, it's going to be dark mystery, psychological thriller slash self and reality. There's a lot of different themes in here and that's why I was hesitant and it's hard to put it into one box if you know what I mean. But that's kind of like the vibe of it. The one sentence is um, that Red is a high school girl who meets and later befriends the four peculiar ghost boys in a newly moved town until it becomes an addiction and she loses contact with her own self which is basically the main i guess one sentence synopsis and then over here i have um the actual big synopsis which i've done so yeah this is kind of like my planning document again I hope this helps a little bit. I really wish I could show you everything, but of course I need to kind of keep things secret because I want to kind of talk about it in my vlogs that I'm later going to film. So yeah, these four different points are very important just to kind of get an overview and just to kind of get a start on your project because it's very important just to see like where you're going. So after that sort of introduction of my project, I then have five different um, points of my um, main document and that includes characters, which are very, very important. I have the main characters and the side characters just split up. And then over here we have setting. So it's kind of just like basically where the story is set. And I have lore and that's kind of like, I guess stuff with the ghost sort of side of things and what that really means um, for the book. And then I have plot. So this is essentially the very simple, I literally have a, a plan, like a, a sort of table that has like opening, rising action, climax, resolution. And it's literally like one sentence. For example, the opening, which I probably won't blur, is just red meets the ghost boys. And that's that. Next we have number four. This is very important. If you watch my how I plotted a book in one day video, this is so important. Scenes are so important. They're essentially like settings or like places in your book where scenes take place. So for example, I'll kind of like just unblur a few things such as these top three, like a telephone pole scene, a car scene and a window sill scene. And it's so interesting because when I planned this um, actual project, those three things were just ideas and now that I know the story, I've used these three ideas and I can distinctly see the scene in which these settings relate to. And it's so, so cool to see because I'm like, oh my gosh, this helps so, so much. Then last but not least, of course, we have the chapter guides or basically like the chapter plot. And yeah, I have all these chapters. So I just have a very simple, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> table where I have chapter and points. In regards to the points and this sort of section of the uh, table they're kind of like dot points but as soon as I get like past the introduction since that's pretty easy and I really know what's going on I really flesh out stuff like what the characters say what they're wearing 
and just like little kind of details just to help me remember but this of course is a kind of a loose plan but it's still quite specific and it's a very interesting way of me plotting but that's just how I do it. So yeah, they're my chapter points. Again, if you haven't done that, I really encourage you guys to just go ahead and start that. But I think I'm kind of like ahead since I've already done this plan um, quite a few months ago. But now to prepare, I guess I'm just going to yeah, read over it, add some foreshadowing points, and also really emphasize the actual plot twist. And then also characters, which we're going to get to now. Okay, so of course we're going to do um, a main character, which is going to be Red. I think I want to do Red because... Ugh, she just reminds me of myself so much. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and actually open one of my um, character templates. If you didn't know, I have actually also done a video of like side characters. And I give you guys a free template that I literally use all the time. So if you want to go check out my character profile, like how to make them. And I give you like the document to do so, definitely click up there. But I'm going to be using the same exact um, sort of character profile and I'm gonna go ahead and actually um, do that with you guys. So here's the document. It's um, really pretty. I love it so so much. So I actually I know I should like know a lot about my project but sometimes like little details really like mess me up. So for example, I forgot what Red's last name is. Um, should be down here. Red Gibson. Very interesting name. I like completely forgot because it's not important right? So I'll say Red Gibson and I'll just start really like filling up all of these things. However, what I really want to do is actually um, create a profile image and see how that goes and actually create her on Art Breeder. I love my character so, so much. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Hey guys, so I have completed my little um, character profile. This is kind of what it looks like. Again, if you want to definitely check out when I go through like everything and how to really use this template, definitely go up there to see the iCard. But yeah, this is the template and this is what Red looks like. She's so beautiful and I'm just so excited that I was able to get at least the main character done today and yeah, really prepare for NaNoWriMo. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and this really helped you um, just even a little bit to prepare and at least think about what you want to write in um, at NaNoWriMo. Again, you don't have to participate and if it's too stressful, definitely just let it go. But it's such a fun challenge if you just try out some things and yeah, just see how you go. I will of course be filming my whole process on NaNoWriMo and me like writing a book and I hope it becomes a series. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so excited since it's very... Um, good because I'll be on my uni holidays for summer break because it's summer here in Australia. So I'm very excited for November and so excited to actually write my project. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!